Hey, thanks so much for pressing play. Um, so this video is just about the number five, which again is synchronizing with what Zenith did uh, last night. I didn't actually watch the video last night, but I noticed he'd uploaded it. Um, I checked it out this morning before I went to work. I'd already wrote up this video last night and recorded it. And it was all ready to be uploaded, but I'd made a bit of a mistake on it. Um, which I'll point out in a minute. So I didn't upload it. Um, so it's now I've watched Zenith's video about 55. It's as if he knew I was going to be doing this video and vice versa, but I don't know. Uh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, this is just about the number five and how it's two halves. Also a few other things. So first of all, just in geometry nature, it's just some simple ciphers there. And even just on that, um, you can see the five connection um, just in the numbers. Apart from that one, that's got its own numbers anyway, three sixes. Um, but then there, three fives equal the 15. Um, obviously that one, 44 plus one, you get four fives, 45, which is, would be the same as that one, the full reduction one, four fives as well. Um, so that kind of ties in with what I'm going to show in a minute. So we'll come back to that. So okay, n number five then, and how it's yeah two halves. I'd spell it wrong. I'd spell it like that. I think that's the right way with the V E S halves. That's just halves. So I see it as this, it's actually two fives as well. Just a simple one first of all. Because I'm talking about it being two halves, if you were to halve a five, dividing it in half by two, you get 2.5. So that's your two fives. Four fives it's going to show in a minute, but yeah, it's a few more. And then half being zero five. To reach back to five from being just a half, you would need ten halves. 5 plus 5, 2 fives. What I wanted to show as well is how, just visually, I see it as well as two halves. Half um, square with the right angle, 90 degrees, and half the circle, the 180. Now I know in proper way of writing a five, if you're doing it calligraphy style properly, it isn't just a half circle, it goes kind of up and round, which I'll show just on the calculator. Um, see there, it's kind of got um, almost touching, but it's got like a third missing of it. It's all the way around, just stops there. Now that's because I think this is where I made the mistake on last night's video, so I didn't upload it until now I'm doing it. I'd put that it's a third of 360. And the whole video I kept referring back to it as being a third. So I couldn't use it. I'm recording it again now. Um, it's obviously two thirds of 360. You're just missing the 90 degrees. And that's where I think that's where that missing third is. When you look at it there. So I'm going to stick with those numbers then of 270. 70 divided by 2, 35. Three fives. Five, five, five. 3 times 5 being 15, 1 5. 
270 times 3. So we've now got three fives on this one, so it's following on there. We've created three more fives. So that's times the degrees of one by the three. You get eight ten. That's just the breakdown of the course of that one. Um, we'll say the eight ten. If you keep the zero plus the a one eight, you get eight two eight. They also equal eighteen, which is the mirror of that. Eighty two and twenty eight. So using that answer there, 110, so you're getting a 911 from the degrees. Um, simple one there, 70 minus 2, 68, 6 plus 8 being 14, 1 and the 4 being the 5. Uh, 270 degrees, so that's 7 minus the 2, 5. <laughs> I mean that might be cheating a bit but you know it's there so it's worth putting 7 times 2 14 simple back to that one 1 plus 4 270 plus the mirror 72 342 3 plus the 4 for the 7 times the 2 14 again 270 Degrees times itself being the five one three five zero. Oh. Uh, keep if you drop the zero there, you just got one three five. That's half of the two seventy. Which in a way it's now obvious to me from doing this, but it's because of course you're dealing with five, the half, and the des it's to do with decimalization. So that will be true of any any number you times by five. If there is a zero in the answer, drop it and that will be half of what you started with. And it makes sense when you think about it because it's what you're dealing with there, half. So that's just a little you know, visual reminder of what that is about. And if there isn't a zero, then it's, you use the decimal point. So it's to do with decimalization. Um, and that's obviously where you'd put the decimal just before the 5 in the answer. So I've given an example there of 7, 2, 4 times 5, 3, 6, 2, 0. There you go. So dropping the O, you've got half of 7, 2, 4. So let's try and get one that's just got the 5. Just random numbers. Then again, I'm not going to know what the half of it is without doing a whole thing. So... Um, let's try that. Times five. Right, oh, it's got a zero. Two, four, five, one. Times five. There we go. That's not got a zero. So half of that would be one, two, two, five point five. And it does make sense when you look at it, doesn't it? But anyway, yeah. Going back to the two seventy degrees of a five times itself of the 5, 1, 3, 5, 0. So let's lose the 0 because it's half of 270. 1, 3, 5, 0. Half plus the other mirror half. Yeah, 6, 6, 6. But okay, let's keep the 0 because that was the multiplication anyway. It'd be silly to kind of go with the half because you're not, you know, I didn't say divide by 2, but I just thought it was obviously interesting that's there. Um, so keeping the zero, one three five zero plus the mirror o five three one, eighteen eighty one. Now here as well is interesting because this links in with um, Zanis' video from yesterday. He did an x axis fifty five video. Um, tenth number in Fibonacci, tenth being 5 plus 5, is 55. That's the tenth number. And I've just got a visual reminder of the Fibonacci sequence there. That's just the one that I've scribbled down. You can 
can see there how 55 is. Yeah, it's the 10th one. Very interesting. And also that um, 270 degrees, so that's your first five. Plus the second one, 270 degrees. You're doubling it. 540. So you got four fives again. You got four. And away, that's the one, two, three, four. And 270 degrees plus itself is because tenth number being the 55, so adding the degrees of each one together. You then get four of them. Now just going back to the geometria of it, just to end this video off. So we've got five is two halves. Um, that's not the right one. Five is two halves. Okay. That's for another video that I'm going to do. And that one. And that one. There we go. <laughs> Five on its own, we've got 24, 21, 42, 66, 720. Now 720 I'm just going to go with to start with because that is obviously two 360s, two circles. I was talking about two thirds of a circle at the beginning the 270. Now we're talking about two circles for the Jewish geometry of five. So, and of course, yeah, I've just made a reminder there of 27 being the mirror of 72, 270 degrees, 720 degrees. 270 degrees divided by 720, two circles there, not 375. Now there you could probably say 7, 10 times 5, 50, you've got 1, 5 again, you know? 10 times the 5, 50. Um, but there, that's the one I actually wrote down, 375s as well, being 15, 1 times 5, you're back to. But interestingly there, that was the year I was born, and 3 is also part of my date of birth. What's more interesting, I mean, that on its own was enough, quite surprising for me. 21, which is the full reduction for five. In my focus shot. 21 is half 42, which was the ordinal. 42. I'm 42. This year, 2017 is the year I've turned 42. 24, which was the full reduction, is the mirror of 42. And obviously, yeah, you add those two together, you get dual 33, 66, 66 reverse ordinal, half of that being 33. You've got dual. Very interesting. Anyway, thanks so much for bearing with me with that one. Um, I hope it made sense. Take care for now. Cheers.